Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Will. I'm the founder of Apollo X. Claire is my co-founder's name. So uh, I'm very happy to here to share with you guys about what we do at Apollo X. So we are, we are building a decentralized ecosystem for global e-commerce. We are you know, building this into the disrupt like Amazon and eBay, the whole monopolistic e-commerce industry, because we are trying to connect people with, you know, we are trying to connect sellers and the buyers with transparency and the trust without the information silo and the middleman. So let's see. So uh, Apollo X is an ecosystem. It has a three part, a community, with basically manufacturers, sellers, customers, engineers, visionaries, and also a technology platform built on top of blockchain and with a set of protocols to uh, provide functionalities for all sets of uh, essential e-commerce uh, business ac activities. And of course, uh, various of uh, DApps building on top of the blockchain. I mean, one of them will be the first uh, decentralized marketplace. So why are we bringing blockchain decentralization uh, into e-commerce? So there are a couple issues with the current e-commerce marketplace practice. Of one, there are two major of them. One is there are layers, and actually multiple layers of middlemen in every part of the e-commerce, like listing, ads, logistics. The, the result is that something sold on Amazon could be like five or even 10 times of its manufacturing price. And then all those margins are actually not learned, earned by the sellers, but actually earned by all the middlemen to be. Uh, in between. The other part is the conflict of interest between the marketplace and the sellers. Right now, the marketplace companies own all, basically all the data that's generated from their marketplace, like the data of uh, each uh, consumer, data of each product, and then sometimes, I mean, most of the time, they use that to compete with the sellers, and that's like a great unfair advantage. And blockchain decentralization is a great way to uh, to fix these issues. So we can enable more direct peer-to-peer -peer transactions that's uh, reduce the price a lot, but without losing the trust. The, the other part is that uh, on a decentralized ecosystem, the data is for the first time belongs to the participant, not the company. So no one can claim that, hey, our users is our buyer. And uh, to get that done, we have to design a great token economy. The, uh, the big idea, I mean, there are many ways. For example, we, we will incentive we will reward people for connecting their social profiles, for connecting their uh, shopping histories, and we will uh, reward buyers, uh, sorry, sellers, for uh, listing their best selling products. I mean, the big idea is to make everyone an owner of the community so that they contribute and then they get rewarded. Uh, I'll just skip all this. A little bit about the, the team behind us. So we are the same team behind the Apollo Box, uh, which is a company founded two years ago in the Silicon Valley here. In the last two years, we built a marketplace in the US. We uh, grow it from zero to uh, one million active users and the 50 million active run rate. We have, we have about 800 uh, vendors from over 20 countries in the world. And uh, once Apollo X is ready, we are going to migrate this to Apollo X. So it's, it's going to be a uh, a decentralized marketplace with many active users on day one. And, and our team, our advisors, investors, yeah, ready for questions. Okay, so who's your customer? Who's gonna send you money? Well, the same thing as a blockchain uh, company, so we are building a community. Basically it's a community, and they, we are providing a set for uh, the blockchain foundation technology and the protocols. Eventually, people come here to build their own DApps, to build their own business on top of it. And in order for them business to run, they have to purchase tokens. And as the foundation, as the team here, we sell the tokens. Okay, so the foundation of the value of this business is this a new currency. It's not a new currency. It, it, it's the technology behind the currency. It's it's it's. Uh, imagine, I mean, many people find it difficult to understand the blockchain. Well, I put it in a simple way. that I'm going to build a new technology, and then there will be APIs, but I sell the license of the APIs ahead of the time. Before I even build up this thing, I sell the license, the future license of using my API, or to say, using my blockchain technology. I sell to, to, to people, yeah. When is your private sale and public sales of your tokens? Uh, yeah, we are doing our private sale right now. It's the public sale has the issues so. so when you speak about tokens what you're doing is creating an alternative to this token 
I would I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say. I mean, I mean, that's different because there, there are there are currency tokens. Like if you talk about the Bitcoin, that that's it. You are right. If you talk about Bitcoin, that's it. No, but, but in my part, that's any token. Any token is a surrogate for something else. Mm -hmm. And if your token is a surrogate for money, the exchange that you use in exchange for goods and services, then that that token is a different. It's a unique currency. So th there's a, a lot of hyperbole about these new tokens as though there's some kind of magic about them. And I suggest there isn't any magic. Yes, it's I totally agree with you. That's what, that's what I mean. So there's currency tokens who is going to say, hey, this is going to be a new money. And that's a lot of these questions uh, behind it. But actually Bitcoin is, is one of that, and that's actually one of the most successful blockchain technology so far. The other part that's like, like what I'm presenting here is what we call utility tokens. Its value is backed by the technology or the services behind it. It's not just because like people believe in it. So is it